So right now we got news coming in uh, with Jared Anderson. I see we have a post up right now with Turkey Alashik making some uh, claims as far as him giving some advice to Jared Anderson about basically seeking out to uh, train with uh, Sugar Hill. Um, and that's uh, Sugar Hill is uh, Tyson Fury's trainer at the moment. Uh, after Tyson Fury just recently took a loss to Ulazander Usyk in the undisputed match rematch coming up soon. But uh, in my mind right now, from what I'm seeing, it's a very odd situation that Jared Anderson would actually look for a new trainer or to train with uh Sugar Hill at the time for his fight coming up because from what I've seen there's been other heavyweights that's been doing a better job as far as with their trainers we can go from Daniel Dubois um Usyk um we know Ben Davidson has a good history with guys like uh Fury and Anthony Joshua and I've heard people say recently that Anthony Joshua is probably the most skilled heavyweight right now outside of Usyk. So for Ben Davidson not to be someone that's thought of, it's pretty surprising to me. But I definitely think uh, Turkey Alashik has a good point as far as trying to see some fire from Jared Anderson and anything like that. But it also lets you know that a guy who's not involved in boxing day-to-day as far as the experts over the years, like a Teddy Atlas or anything like that. Um, it goes to show that these guys like Tur- Turkey Alashik, he has knowledge as well. And it lets uh, me know, as someone who's not directly involved in boxing, that um, he's a guy that can open up doors for other people, especially with people who have knowledge as far as the game of boxing, just the whole sport. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sport, it's a game, it's entertainment, it's everything you need it to be. But him working with uh, Sugar Hill, I don't understand the whole thinking behind it. Is that because Sugar Hill was directly behind the force of beating Deontay Wilder uh, with Tyson Fury? Because ever since that situation, it hasn't been really many knockouts. Uh, I haven't seen the power in the last two fights. If you look at the fight with Ngannou and the fight with Usyk, they said Tyson Fury didn't train well for the Ngannou fight. So my thing is, if Deontay Wilder or anybody else, like Dubois, who people said was a quitter, you know, for some reason, like a guy like Dubois, he can't have a bad day, and these other heavyweights, for some reason, they can't have a bad day. I know Jilly Jong, he had a situation with Joseph Park where he could he just couldn't finish the job. So I don't feel like um what's being considered is a a day a bad day. And also, is Sugar Hill consistent enough recently? I mean, he beat a guy in Deontay Wilder who was what, what a lot of people said was a one trick pony who can't box. So are we measuring Sugar Hill skills skills up against a guy who can't box. What about these guys who can box? What about like Ngannou? And then people will say, "Well, Tyson Fury ain't come in shape and everything else. Why would we have a coach who couldn't help Tyson Fury get in shape for one or two fights? Why would he be directly be involved with Jared Anderson? What's wrong with the people who's been work, working with Jared Anderson? I know you can work with other uh, trainers day to day. You know." from time to time, but it's just my train of thought, you know, say my thinking and uh because overall a lot of people say certain guys don't want to learn how to train with other people. And some people don't use other trainers. They just use the same trainer. So I I don't know, man. I'm kind of confused on all that. I don't feel like Sugar Hill is someone who should be the end all be all when it comes to certain uh aspects of the game just because we i feel like the heavyweights we have right now they're cool everything's good as far as the training and development but i was i'm going to repeat this 
I'm still looking at uh, Sugar Hill from the standpoint of he's coming off the Ngannou fight, which was absolutely horrible, and the Usyk fight, which left much, uh, much to be desired. So at this time right now, him training Jared Anderson, I mean, him and Tyson Fury is two different people, so I would understand that. But uh, Turkey Alashit knows a lot more than I do about the whole situation, so I would definitely uh, agree with him on that. Not saying this is a bad situation or a bad pick, but kind of just catching me off guard. Like, what are we working on? Because is it the power that they said that um, Tyson Fury got from working with Sugar Hill, even though we haven't seen the last couple of fights, or is it the technique or just the whole mindset? That's what I'm actually asking. But uh, that's all I got, though, man. Like and subscribe.